guys welcome back to my channel if you're new here introduce yourself down below let me know a little bit about yourself i don't want this to be a one-sided relationship i want to be able to get to know you so definitely leave a comment down below if you're returning to my channel welcome back i'm so glad that you're here today i'm here with a long-awaited video my official college apartment tour which is crazy guys i've lived here for almost three years now and i feel like i've really cultivated this space to be exactly what I always wanted and what I always dreamed of to be honest with you as deep as it sounds before I get into the video and show you guys my apartment I do want to have some disclaimers so disclaimer number one my parents don't help me in any way shape or form I live here on my own I pay for my rent and yes like I did this for myself not only because I really wanted my independence but also because it has always been a dream of mine to have my own apartment and live by myself and I always promised myself this when I was little so this this is my official college apartment tour if you have always dreamed of living on your own or if you've always dreamed of having your apartment this is a reminder that you can and people will tell you that you can't you can you still can and if you want something bad enough you will make it work I have lived here for almost three years now and yes I live in off-campus housing this is just a regular apartment complex I get a lot of questions about that and I hope you guys enjoy the video okay starting with when you walk in this is my front door and over here I just have this calendar thing that I don't actually use I've just kind of kept it here and then I have this really cool piece of wood that when my great-grandmother passed away I found it in one of her closets and I literally just took it because I thought it was so cool you walk in to the left we have Archie hello Archie this is like my kitchen area honestly the kitchen in this apartment is huge the island goes all the way down it's a very long island and the kitchen is very spacious as well um, over here I have my stainless steel fridge and then there's cabinets I have a little camera up there just for safety things like when I'm not here watch my cats you know I'm a freak guys then I just have like a little wine bottle holder up there and then going into my kitchen I have my stainless steel Cousinart, um toaster oven I use this all the time game changer some little pears on the counter that I picked up from Trader Joe's last night some fresh flowers over here I love to keep fresh flowers in my apartment especially in the winter months it definitely makes it feel more alive and like not so dead because you know january is like my least favorite month so i like to put fresh flowers everywhere to really help with my seasonal depression and then i just have some layered books right here and just a little leaves candle that my friend margaret gave me recently shout out to you margaret my knife sets and you know some olive oil this is what the microwave and oven situation looks like. And then I just have a um, bamboo cutting board on top. It makes cooking so much easier just having a cutting board right there. Right here, I just have all my little towels and a basket. I don't buy paper towels. So these are my makeshift paper towels. And then as I dirty them, I put them in this cute little jar and I just let them soak until I'm ready to wash them. This is the sink situation. I just have like a little dish soap right here. And then my Nespresso situation over here. This is the Vaturo. Vaturo? I, I don't know how to pronounce it. I'm not going to pretend I do. Love this thing. Game changer. And then I have my little milk frother and all of my Nespresso pods in here. And then here is my pantry. Nothing too crazy or special in here. I have little bins down here. My boyfriend keeps like his random snacks for when he's here. So that's what's going on over there. Um, I just have a jar with like breakfast bars, um, rice, pasta, my favorite teas, just some other like cooking things. And then I keep like black beans and soups and like pasta sauce on hand at all times. Just, you know, in case I... Feel like I need something my trash can hey guys Archie no so that's pretty much a brief overview of 
the kitchen when you come in it's just lots of kitchen and then i have this little candle here this is from target and i just keep my keys in here very practical nothing crazy right here but very simple sometimes i'll put some flowers here but that's what's going on with that right now. So in the living room, I just have a little table over here. This is from Kirkland's, I believe. Um, a vase with some baby's breath in it. And then I have my hanging plant in the corner. I had to trim it. It used to be so long, but this little guy likes to eat it. So I trimmed it up high. And then I have this little collage above my couch. My couch is from Rooms to Go. If you're wondering, I get a lot of questions about it. It's like a woven gray kind of looks like that and then i just have some more neutral pillows just to bring in more neutral elements because my apartment is very neutral i have a little fiddle leaf fig in the corner this is like an automatic feeder for my cats especially for archie he eats three times a day so i'm not always here for every single meal so this just automatically feeds him litter box i have my little coffee table situation this is woven so it also doubles as like a footrest i keep my remotes on there and then i have this little crystal thing with like all my little remotes for like the little lights in my living room hydro flask is really killing the vibe right now but this is real life so um yeah that's the living room and then i have two windows right here which i'm not gonna show out there because just for safety reasons and then on this wall, I have my little cat bed, these Ikea shelves. I love these. I have a smaller Ikea like shelf unit for under my TV. I have this little woven thing. I keep all my like chargers and that kind of thing in there. On the shelves, I have this going on. And here I keep like my laptop and my iPad and like stuff like that that just doesn't look very visually appealing. I have some books turned backwards just for, you know, aesthetic. So a lot of this stuff is thrifted. If you guys know me, I love to, like, thrift things and, like, find, you know, little quirky, unique pieces. So that is my biggest tip. You can find so much home decor thrifted, especially, you know, for a college apartment. Over here, I have some little matches in here for my candles. I have a little candlestick holder. This is also thrifted little vase of baby's breath this little thingy this is from home goods some candles and then on this shelf up here i have a plant that's slowly dying but also coming back to life depends on the day i have this little vase right here with a face on it that is from home goods some candles a candle wick trimmer books some more plants and on this one i just have like my sage some little beads i turn the books backwards again my himalayan salt rock lamp and a little vase back there that was my great grandmother's i have a lot of pieces of her in my apartment this is the whole other side of my kitchen i also have this dallas print this is from mapaful i have a discount code for you guys i'll leave it down below and then walking from my living room into my bedroom in the corner i just have a mirror this is from ikea this little table was my great-grandmother's, and I painted it white. Um, I have some baby's breath. I also have an essential oil diffuser. I like to diffuse lavender at night. And then I also have my daily stoic and the five-minute journal. I keep those right next to my bed because I do those every morning. Then up above my bed, I have two prints. These are both from Society6. My bed is from Ikea. I believe it's called the Mom Bed in white. And then I also have the nightstand from the same line at Ikea. I think it's called the Malm nightstand. Then I have um, my lamp. This is from Target. It has little marble detailing on it. Pretty simple. And then my Google. Another essential oil diffuser. <laughs> Some Palo Santo. I like to burn this at night before bed. Makes it smell really nice and just calming. And then all my white bedding is from Target. Um, I think I got it like two years ago, so I doubt they still have it, but I'll look and if they do I will link it for you guys And then I also have these two pillows. These are both from world market. That is my bathroom We'll go in there in a second and then this is the other side So this is where you walk in and then I just have another litter box a little clear chair in the corner with some pillows and stuff on it 
and then I have um, the Alex drawers right here. I keep like all my like household like screwdrivers, tape, that kind of thing in here. And then my TV here. And then moving on into my bathroom. This is where my washer and dryer is. These both open up and there's like also shelves. I'll just go ahead and show you guys. It's nothing special, but washer, dryer, have all my cleaning supplies up here and then just like extra storage is up there like my christmas tree my different wreaths that kind of thing and then to the left i have a linen closet and in my linen closet i just have some extra pillows up there some restock like dry shampoo and here i just have like q-tips that kind of thing and then on this little thingy i have like different products that i need for like random things some towels the other ones are in the wash right now so that's why it looks so bare usually there's more and then i just have some bed linens in here some extra blankets down here i have like a heating pad and then some other extra blankets and then this is my bathroom so i have the double sinks this one i like to use for my skincare and this one i do my makeup at which is so funny but what is a girl to do with two sinks? I just have my little toothbrush right there. That is the Quip toothbrush from Target. All my go-to skincare on this little glass thing. This is thrifted. Um, a candle, some more fresh flowers. I have some soap here. Just all my earrings in this little dish. And then I have all of my jewelry hung up here. I have a Himalayan salt rock. And then over here I have just some more plants and a little Buddha guy. Some more essential oils and like skincare things. In here I keep like toothpicks, flossers, Q-tips, tampons. My shower, I have a little shower curtain. This is from Target as well. Above my toilet I just put some more, you know, toilet paper. And then over here I have this little print. It's a eucalyptus drawing and this is from Hobby Lobby. On this wall I just have a little print of lemons and then over here to the left is my closet. Definitely not a large closet at all so I really had to maximize my space. So over here I have like all my tops and dresses. I've definitely had to simplify my clothing just to like keep it minimal because that's just how I am. And up here I have like other things, so like underwear, socks, pajamas, bras are in both of these. And then I have like hats and beanies up there, pajamas, like other t-shirts, and I forget what's in that one, swimsuits. And then I just have like all of my crew necks and sweatshirts and jackets over here. Down here I have like my skirts, all my denim and pants and leggings. And that is the gist of my closet. It's really nothing exciting. Then I just have like extra shoes on this side. I really try to keep it like simple in here because it makes me less stressed, to be honest. And then I keep my Doc Martens right here because I wear them pretty much every day. So after walking out of my bathroom to the right is my little closet. I keep all my bags in here, so like my backpack, this bag I usually bring to work. I have my um, bum bag, my little Louie, and this little crossbody bag. I also keep these right here. These are like little um, tote bags that I'll bring to like put my lunch in or like bring a couple things, so I always keep these hanging up here. Some coats that I gravitate towards. This one's my boyfriend, that's not my coat. Um, and then I also have like family heirlooms back there they're like fur jackets and then up here i have some yoga mats some weights some gloves over here in the corner my suitcase <laughs> my all this like cleaning stuff and there's some extra wrapping paper back there too because this is real life people it's not all gonna look perfect and i forgot to show you guys i have these little bar stools they're stainless steel and then the seat is wood they're from Amazon a while ago. 
they're not comfortable <laughs> to be honest with you I hope you guys enjoyed my official college apartment tour. Definitely leave any questions that you may have down below. I'll try to link things that I can find, but no, a lot of this is thrifted. A lot of it is just stuff I've had over the years, so I don't know if it's still available, but anything that I do find, I will try to link it down below for you guys. Definitely thumbs up this video if you enjoyed it. It really helps me and supports my channel. Follow me on Instagram if you're interested. I'll have it right here and link down below as always, and I will see you guys in my next video.